Hi, welcome to video tutorial number 15A. And as you know, when I stick an A on something, it's a supplement. And this is a supplement to fine tuning groove. Um, the supplement. I wanted to add a few things for later, but I also have to say that was one long tutorial and it just needed to stop. So here's 15A, finishing up with that, and also perhaps some mistakes were made, but we're going to fix those right now. Let's open up our super duper sampler um, and then open up one of our super samplers. And I'll, while we were working on it, everything seemed to be working okay, and let's just see that it is. Um, so we get sound out of it, but what the problem is, there's six of them, so what's happening to me anyway is that it's cycling around, and so I go one, two, three, four, five, hitting the keys, and then there it is again. And that's because only one of these, all the super samplers are the same, but that means they're all equally dumb. I had one of them open, and I set it up and said, set Ted, go ahead. And uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get a, um, we're going to set a send item so that we can select our um, our buffers for the groove object. So here we go. We type the letter N and we put an R for receive, and then we say uh, buffer select. And we put that up here. And if you pick number one, and let's let's another new object select um, let's just say one. No, 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 no. Well yeah, we'll make it one or two. That way a zero won't won't give us anything we don't want. So we'll connect that. This will send out a bang if it matches one. And this will send out a bang if it matches two. And um, we also, once we select that, we want this thing to read the information in. So whenever there's a buffer select, we want a slight delay, and then for this thing to get um, to uh, notice. So actually, we don't because the sets go to this as well. What we really need is for this thing to load the information when it starts up. So we're going to make a new object, but this is what the new object is going to be. It is going to be hit an N, load bang. And what load bang does is when your when your patch starts up, the first time you open it, it will say hit this thing and then hit that thing. Send it a bang. So we, we do. We want to send this a bang, and we want to send one of our buffers a bang when it starts up. Okay. And I think that will solve the um, missing patcher problem. So with that in mind, let's save our patcher and put it away and then see if our keyboard works now. Beautiful. Fantastic. Now let's go back here since not all those patchers have information and we'll just click loop select on and off and let's read uh, new sound into Ted and let's read a new sound into Fred 
so that they're backwards. And let's hear what they sound like. Okay, that brings me to problem number two, which is, and it is true, I have the volume all the way up, but it's really distorting quite a bit. And what I noticed is that if you don't run the volume quite so high, let me lock this patcher, um, it's not so bad, but if you go higher, it sounds terrible. So what we want to do, I'm going to turn that down, you remember that our velocity coming in is getting scaled over here to 158. I suggest we don't scale it at all and unlock your patcher and just change this to 127. Sure, you could just get rid of it and connect the wires and have them straight, but um, this way um, we're not going to overdrive that, um, that gain control. If you recall, that goes down to this gain here. So that's another thing that was bothering me. So we'll save that and let's see how it sounds now. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what that's all about. Sometimes when you work on one of these and not on another one, um, you end up with little tiny weird problems. Oh, the, like, you know, like, um, so we'll, we'll have to put this away and take it back out. The very last thing is that I noticed that these things also, they sound so good when they start at the beginning, but if you just start the loop, it starts looping where the loop is. And so even if you turn the loop off, not so good. But if you turn the loop on, okay. But what we want to trigger is this, so we get that nice attack. So unlock your patcher and this little patch that runs from our button here remember when any number except zero comes in here that's whatever our velocity is it triggers the start loop but we don't want it to trigger the start loop we want it to trigger zero and zero tells it to start at zero milliseconds so let's try that lock it up and uh, save it and listen to our keyboard. So much better. What a great thing. So I think those are the finely tuned mistakes that I made. And then one thing we're going to do here before we leave this patcher is copy this little item here, this receive buffer select, because we have nothing sending anything to it. So we're going to command copy that. We'll close this patcher. We'll close this patcher. And here we are back over here. We'll unlock this patcher and paste our item here. And bring it down here. And um, turn it into a re, uh, uh, ascend and then we're gonna just type a new message here one which should give us Ted and another message two that should give us Fred and uh, So let's see if it works. Was that you, Ted? Let's try Fred. <laughs> 
I have no idea what that was all about. Let's uh, turn our loop select on and back off and uh, zoom out here because uh, I can't see what's going on. So um, that's our buffer select over there now. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah, I'll have to research that one and get back to you. We've got the the basic gist of it working though. <laughs> um, and uh, I think that's all of my supplement for today. I'll be back with a fix for that little sound and a way to input things by way of microphone in our next video tutorial. Thanks a lot.